10 is learning tonight what led to the alleged sexual assault of a 14-year-old girl. A probable cause affidavit unsealed today explains how it could have happened. Here are a couple of key notes from the document. Tucker Ray rented the hotel room at Holiday Inn on South Highway 41. The alleged victim consumed a gummy bear laced with Xanax. The victim had abrasions to her forearm and knee. The victim had an open area to her skin near private areas. Indiana State Police yesterday arrested 18-year-old Peter Tanus II and 18-year-old Tucker Ray. Both men are suspects in a case where the teenage girl claims they sexually battered her. And tonight, 19-year-old Chris Hayden turned himself into police. Court documents claim Hayden captured the sexual battery on camera. Everything was done way above board to make sure that there's justice in this case. But it's a story that's just beginning. Two of the men accused of the sexual battery appeared in court today. And after Hayden's arrest, he'll likely be in court later this week. News 10's John Swanner is covering this case. And in tonight's top story, John found out what's coming next. John? Well, Patrice and Mike, today's court appearances by Tanus and Ray culminate a month's worth of investigation and preparation in this case. Now, a special prosecutor prepares to try these men as Vigo County's prosecutor explains why he asked to be removed from the case. Families of both Peter Tanus and Tucker Ray crowded the halls outside of Vigo County courtroom following their initial hearings before Judge Michael Rader. Peter Tanus II faces felony charges of sexual battery and child exploitation. Ray faces those charges plus a count of sexual misconduct with a minor. In most instances, Vigo County Prosecutor Terry Modisett's office would handle this case, but Modisett felt he had a conflict of interest. One of the defendants is related um, to a blood family member of mine by marriage. After consulting with the Indiana Prosecutor's Council, a special prosecutor request was made to the court. Did not want to make that choice as far as picking who's going to handle the case ourselves, just to make sure to avoid the appearance of improprieties. Clay County Prosecutor Lee Reberger accepted the case, and he told us he's handled several Vigo County cases as special prosecutor. Most of those were misdemeanor and low-level felonies, and not a case as high profile as this. Still, don't expect Reberger to change his prosecutorial approach. We will follow the same procedures that we do in Clay County and, and see the matter through appropriately. The victim told police she took a gummy bear laced with Xanax. Noah Coley of Hamilton Center told us Xanax is a prescription drug today's teens are abusing. He says teens will combine gummy bears, Xanax, and alcohol, which is a deadly combination. It's kind of hard to imagine somebody taking a, an anesthetic drug and mixing that with alcohol so they're already sedated. The double whammy, it's very dangerous and it needs to be looked out and looked over closely by people. And Coley says mixing alcohol with anything like Xanax or Valium or even cough syrup can kill you. So what can you do as parents or adults? Well, teach your kids about the dangers of abus abusing prescription drugs and that mixing them with alcohol can be fatal. And if you're a part of a church, civic group or organization, Coley told us he would be glad to schedule a presentation to your group. For information on how to set up an appointment, go to our website, WTHITV.com and click on this story. Back to you. Thank you, John.